Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, I'm Echo, very nice to meet you. Thanks for stopping by and I hope you stick around because today I'm going to share with you my version of Philly Cheesesteak Sandwich. Philly Cheesesteak is my ultimate favorite steak sandwich. It's packed with flavors and I love the combination of all the ingredients. This food is incredibly mouth-watering and I'm 100% sure you're gonna love it. So, let's get started! Good morning! I'm Echo and welcome to Echo's Kitchen! Here are the ingredients. Filet mignon, or you may also use flank steak, steak seasoning, dried chili flakes, provolone cheese, sliced white and red onions, sliced mushrooms, sliced green bell pepper, olive oil, salt and pepper, sliced bread, and some butter. Spread some butter on the bread. You can either toast the bread or grill them. Then set aside. Clean and pat dry the steak, then cut in thin slices. Season the steak with salt and pepper. Sprinkle the steak seasoning and mix it well. Add some olive oil into a pan over medium heat. Then saute the red and white onions. And when it starts to appear translucent, add the bell pepper, then continue to mix. Add the mushrooms, and you can add a little bit more oil as needed. Continue to stir and cook until the veggies are tender but still crisp. Season with salt and pepper. Then cook for another 2-3 to three minutes until the veggies are slightly caramelized. Transfer the veggies in a plate and set aside. Using the same pan, add some butter, then cook the seasoned steak for about 3 to 4 minutes. The cooking time may vary depending on how thick or thin you've sliced the steak, so keep an eye on them and do not overcook. You guys, in case you're wondering, I used a star bought steak seasoning, and by far it's the best I've tried. So if you want to know the brand, just leave me a comment below, I would be happy to share it with you. When the steak appears crisp and slightly brown, add the veggies and continue to cook for another minute. Taste to adjust. Turn the heat to low. Save half of the portions for later. I like to separate the remaining portions into two sections so they're easier to scoop out. Add the provolone cheese on top. Cover the pan for several minutes and allow the cheese to melt. If you can't find provolone cheese, use pizza cheese instead. I've done it many times and it tastes so good every time. You can also try a combination of mozzarella, cheddar, or parmesan cheese. And this sandwich will taste incredibly yummy. Turn off the heat, scoop the steak filling, and carefully transfer it onto the bread. And there it is! You've got yourself a super delicious homemade Philly cheesesteak. You can add more salt or chili flakes or add more cheese if you want. My version of Philly cheesesteak is an absolute must try. This food is great for snack, it's great for picnics and pack lunch. Serve immediately and as always, enjoy! Thank you for watching. If you like this recipe, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't yet, please like and follow my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more delicious recipes. 
If you have questions about the recipe, please don't hesitate to ask me. I would love to hear any feedback or comments from you guys. Thank you for your support and we'll see you guys soon. Bye!